Where the fuck are we? We're still in my room. Just a different angle. Um, yeah, I wanted to record a new review and my webcam's dropping frames like a motherfucker because the lighting's not good because it's 6.53 a.m. So, and I wanted to record a review. I'm not waiting for that shit. I don't wait. I have the patience of a fucking peanut. So, I'm using my old camera. I use this for my reviews over the summer into early fall. And uh, it shoots good and it's, you know, it's not a webcam. So I figured, hey, while I can use it, why not switch up the scenery? It's not location, it's a scenery pretty much. Computer's over here where I usually take the videos. But keep in mind, with this camera, it has a stupid fucking autofocus thing. So it may at times just randomly go blurry. But fuck it. We'll do it live! Fucking thing sucks! Some of you had to have gotten that reference. Anyways, let's cut to the chase. What are we dipping today? Ooh, it's renowned as the best peach dip out there by most. And we're gonna put that little theory to the test. I haven't had this since 2011 when Cajun Tiger sent me a can. So let's see what I think now of good old Timberwolf peach. <sighs> I got a five can roll off my website here. Um, by the way, these are all empty now. <laughs> I put them back in the rolls and then throw them in my closet into my trash bag of goodies. Empty goodies, but goodies nonetheless. They do sell some Timberwolf around here, but for some reason it's only the pouches. Does that make sense to any of you? And I don't want pouches, so I got the long cut. So let's take a look at the presentation. I think it's a pretty cool looking can. Uh, obviously plastic lid, plastic bottom, but I, I don't know, I just, I think it looks pretty cool. Kind of cartoony a little bit. I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool. Nothing, you know, particularly special about it, but I think it looks pretty cool. The date, unfortunately, I can't tell you that because these just have an unreadable code on the back of them. And it's not like the Grizzly codes, you can't read these for a date. So unfortunately, I don't know, but seems pretty fresh. That's all I have left of this whole 5 can roll. <laughs> so let's take a whiff of the scent of Timberwolf Peach. Ooh. So um, the three main peaches out there are Skull, Kayak, and Timberwolf. Are there any others? There probably are. There's so many fucking dips out there now. It's hard to keep track, of course. Okay, so Skull has, um, well, first of all, Kayak Peach, I don't consider that a dip. It's a. <laughs> I like kayak grape, but kayak peach, it's just a watery, pissy, fucking shitty peach. It, it's not real. So skull peach and timber roll peach. Skull peach, if you watch my older videos, that was my everyday dip for a long time. Really sick of it now? Oh god. Um, but as opposed to being a really, really, really sweet, kind of tart peach scent, this is very more mild. It's more natural smelling and it smells very good. It just smells like a mellow peach. I appreciate that. So now it's time to pack us a lip. We're gonna be polishing this tin off now. Yeah, definitely polishing this shit off. Absolutely. Abso fucking lootly. All right, so let's do it. Hey, hey. I have a cut on my finger. Cut my thumb somehow and every time I take a pinch it fucking seeps in there. Probably get infected and kill me. I'm all good. It's all worth it. It's worth dip. I'll die for dip. I'm already probably gonna. Uh, yeah, we'll put it in the left. Scrape the rest of that shit on out. Just a little bit. Yeah. Alright. And that's all, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna give the real tree hardwoods my jug a little bit of love today. Ever since I got my blue fire and kryptonite, I have not used my black or real tree mud jug at all. As a matter of fact, I had to dust all the dust off of this fucking funnel because it's just been sitting under my desk. Figured I'd give it a little bit of love. Still smells like Stoker's wintergreen though. So the flavor, uh, like it smelled, it's a much more natural peach. It's not as, um, it's not it's not so strong. Not that Skull Peach is strong, but it's it, it overpowers the tobacco. This is more of a natural dip with a with a mixed with peach, but it's even and it's nice and it's mellow. It almost, if I were to, if I were to say the peach tastes tastes like anything, it tastes kind of like those peach gummy rings. You know those? Beach, the peach gummy ring candies. Kind of tastes like those, and I like those. Apple ones are okay. Peach ones are better. Can't really compare it because it's kind of in its own, uh, fucking drop the tin, really? Why do I drop the tin? Why do I drop the tin? <laughs> cut, believe it or not, is kind of a mid-cut. 
Unusual for fruit dips. Uh, yeah, it's not cut very long at all. I don't really have much to demonstrate to you left, but uh, yeah, hopefully it focuses in on that. It's more of a mid-cut, believe it or not. It's kind of weird. Interesting. Another weird thing about it, which is unusual for fruit dips, is it's actually kind of rough. The texture is actually kind of rough, um, which is really weird for fruit dips, except for Skull Cherry, I find. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of abrasive in the gums. You wouldn't think so. It really rocks the gums, though. Not like, you know, wintergreens, but, you know, like a little bit more than naturals, believe it or not. Kind of weird. Packability's a flaw, though. Shit doesn't pack that good. You get a lot of floaters. It likes to drift away. I mean, you know, you can keep most of it in there because I'm good with mid-cuts. It's not really about the mid-cut. It's just not something about it. It just doesn't like to pack that well. You get a lot of floaters, but uh, for the, you know, it's not terrible. It's kind of in the middle. Get a good amount of floaters, but it doesn't just fall the fuck apart completely either. Since it's a little bit rough on the lip, it does kind of burn a little bit, which, whoops, it's kind of weird. Not used to that from a fruit dip. I don't get burns from fruit dips. I don't really get that much of a burn from natural dips anymore. Still get moderate burns from wintergreens, but uh, the stuff gives a little bit of a burn. Not a bad one, a nice pleasant one. I like a little burn, not a huge one. Burns a little bit. Not bad. Nicotine? Nah. Nothing. Um, if I were to guess, I'd say this actually has a little bit less than Skull. More than Kayak, less than Skull, but not a lot. I don't feel anything at all. It's pretty low on the nicotine. Don't go to the stuff for nicotine. Spit! Get an okay amount of spit. Not a lot, but uh, the spit you do get, it's, it's okay. The spit you do get is uh, relatively dark, so it has Decent spit, but uh, not really a lot of it. Unfortunately, this stuff doesn't last for shit. It, it just doesn't last. The, la the last ability, it just isn't there. Um, you put it in and max 20 minutes. Max 20 minutes. It, the flavor goes away, it goes dry really fast. Unfortunately, for a dip that tastes really good, it just doesn't last. It's just not there, man. After taste is fine. Just leaves that peach taste. It's peachy keen. <laughs> it's fucking peachy keen. Um, not a bad aftertaste at all. It just leaves a little bit, bit of a peach taste. Nothing artificial though. It's all right. It's okay. No problem at all. Peachy keen. <laughs> Zoom. And shoutouts. First of all, I have a big shoutout to Rocky Top Dipper. Uh, I want to give a huge shoutout to him. Uh, he's like my little brother. Uh, we we're we're really good friends. We talk a lot and. Uh, he, he's made videos that are really good and he just got into editing and uh, it, please check him out. Please do yourself a favor and check him out. Especially his latest video. He did editing and everything and uh, he said I was the reason he started making dip reviews. So I think you can tell by watching it that um, it's similar to my style. He, uh, uh, there's a lot of influence from me in there. So if you like my videos, I think you'll like his. He's, he's kind of like a Joey Leds Jr. almost. He's my good friend Hunter. Please check him out. And also uh, another shout out to my bud Jared. He makes funny. He's a funny fucker. Tennessee Dipper, and obviously Afro Dipper, Yankee Dipper, Chub Fucker, and Jake's reviews full. And for today's rotators, we have HR Falcons 22. He makes great videos as well. DRG Dippin, Damn Right Rebel Dipper 208, Mudslinger 29J, Copenhagen Lips 44, Q Rock Dipper, and Cletus Clitoris. Those are the shout outs. Check them all out, and please, like I said, check out Rocky Top Dipper. Let's see here. We are up to 8,590 subscribers. Absolutely blows my mind. Thank you so much, everybody. I love you all. Keep dipping and spitting. And now it's time for the rating of T Wolf Peach. Timber Wolf Peach. T Wolf, you know. I heard one of my friends said, since timber is so small on the tin, where he's from, people just call it a wolf. That's the most retarded fucking thing I've ever heard. Get your shit together. It's Timber Wolf. At least call it T-Wolf. Come on now. But yes, the rating. Um, it smells great. It tastes great. I like the presentation and everything. Um, but unfortunately, it just it doesn't pack together that well. And the last ability, it's just not there. It just doesn't last. Um, if they just made it a bit of a longer cut and they made it last longer somehow, this would be the perfect peach dip because it tastes so good. Um, but because of all that, I'm, unfortunately, I'm going to have to just give it a 7 out of 10. It's still good. It's still worth trying. Would I dip it again? I would. Um, absolutely. It's still good, but it has its flaws, which a lot of dips do. Anyways, that's been the review. I hope you enjoyed this kind of different scenery. <laughs> um, but thanks for watching. Keep dipping and spitting, and I'll see you in the next one.
Take care.